Hey kids, today we're going to be learning loops with Scratch Jr. Hey kids, today we're going to be learning loops with Scratch Jr. Hey kids, today we're going to be learning loops with Scratch Jr. Hey kids, today we're going to be learning loops with Scratch Jr. A loop is a handy way in programming where you can make something repeat over and over again. Kind of like that introduction. Get it? Loops, repeating. So we're going to look at Scratch Studio and we're going to build some loops. Let's check it out. So when we start with Scratch Studio, we're going to start by clicking the home button. And we're going to start a new project, even if you could see the project you worked on last time. Let's start a new one. Now, since we've been learning about coral reefs and fish swim back and forth in the ocean, that makes a lot of sense for me for a loop. So let's start by selecting an underwater scene. Now here's a good one. So underwater, we're going to choose that. And I'm going to click and hold on the cat here. And I'm going to delete him because I don't think the cat really belongs underwater. He'll have a hard time. So then I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to choose a character that should be underwater. Hello little fish. I'm going to choose the fish. Now this fish, I want to make this fish swim back and forth, back and forth. And I can do that pretty easily. The first thing I need to do to get started is I need to say when I click the green flag we're going to start my fish moving. And I'm going to choose this motion block and I'm going to make this fish swim really fast. If you want your fish to swim slower, you can make them swim slower, medium speed, or really fast. This is a really fast fish. Now I'm going to grab the loop command here. Here it's going to repeat four times. And I'm going to give this fish some motion. I'm going to make him go forwards. He's going to go forwards, let's say, five times. And then I'm going to make him go the other direction four times, and we'll have that repeat. Now, if I click on this, we get to see what the fish is doing. Now, I like that, but I think the fish needs to swim farther. So I'm going to change that five to a nine. And there you go. There's There, my fish is swimming back and forth. But it's a little too fast. I'm going to slow him down to medium speed there. And... I like that a lot. So you can see the important parts of this are there's this loop and then there's a swing back and forth and he repeats it. Now if we want to keep repeating it forever we could just put this red loop block on the end. So those are the most important parts of what's going on here. Let's go ahead and try this ourselves. Why don't you design your own coral reef? Have your fish swim around Maybe you're going to change the color of the fish. Maybe you're even going to have the fish talk a little about themselves and the environment they live in. Check it out. Have fun, guys. Can't wait to see the projects you have. At the end of class, we'll put some up on the screen. So do a good job, okay? Waka out.